What is going on everybody? This is Striker saying I did it guys. I don't normally like to brag about my accomplishments or anything like that, but I'm going to take the next couple of minutes to do so because I finally graduated from college guys. So that's why I'm standing here in my room wearing all of my ridiculous stuff I had to wear this morning. So if you'll give me a second, I'm gonna change into something a little bit more comfortable and we'll talk about this entire getup and what I went through here on my college journey, guys. So let me change real fast. All right, and I am back with you guys. I am in a v-neck, much more comfortable now rather than a dress shirt and a graduation gown. I've also got my hair up in a little bit of a bun because I didn't want it falling in my face for the rest of the video. My hair, I, I haven't done my hair over the past like month and a half or so. I've been wearing a hat, which is behind me. Yes, I, I think he's right over there, over there, my Charizard hat. Anyways, I've been wearing that, so my hair isn't really exactly trained the way that I would like it to be. So let's go ahead and roll through what my entire ensemble was and what it all meant, because everything does have a specific meaning. By the way, guys, I cut down the facial hair all the way down to a one yesterday, that's right. Got all groomed up, got all done up, looks fantastic, to be completely honest. Okay, so, let's start over over here, off camera, bringing it onto camera. This is a graduation gown. It's basically the standard gown that you wear for any graduation, high school, college, graduate school. For the most part, every now and again people have different colors rather than black, but I mean it's a 5'7 to 5'9 gown, I'm 5'8, so it fit me pretty well. Worked out just fine. Then we have, over here, we've got the graduation cap. The, uh, the funny looking cardboard thing you stick on the top of your head with, uh, well, this little like pointy part on the front and then this like elastic -y part on the back. Fits like junk, sticks on your head, makes you uncomfortable. But it has the green tassel for my school, Wilmington College, along with their little insignia thingy majiggy mabobber doohickey thing right there above my pinky finger. So that was upon my head. Then I have this metal that you might have, ooh, turn it to the, come on now, turn to the camera. I'll just hold it like this, there you go. Pow! This metal thingy for the Green Key Honor Society, which means I obtained something like a 3.5 throughout my entire college experience. Something like that, but this thing weighs like four pounds. I wonder if you can hear this when I drop it. Listen. That's solid. When that hit the ground, that probably dented the floor beneath me. Anyways, the next thing we've got, we've got the class of 2016. This is called a stole. This is that like scarf thing I was wearing around my neck. And then on the other side, it says honors program. Obviously when you wear it, one side says, I think it was like honors program over here and then class of, you get the point. Nonetheless, got this because I was in the honors program, did everything I needed, graduated with honors. And then last but not least is my, my rope that they gave me, which would handle, we're not gonna get it, I'm messing, I'm messing chill. This rope, which means I had like a, a 3.6 or 3.5 or something like that, means that I did stuff in college. Academically. That's, that's really it. So yeah, I was also part of the who's who among college students and universities or something like that. It's kind of like what it's titled. So that's a thing. So I got that award, and all of that resulted with, as I lean forward awkwardly, uh, me getting my diploma, which this actually isn't my diploma. This is actually just a piece of paper. You can't read it, so that's fine. But it's basically just a piece of paper that says, congratulations, blah, 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 blah. The following is a diploma, blah, 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 blah. Basically, they say you have to order your diploma that's gonna cost you money. They don't tell you how much though. Of course they don't. Why would they? Why would they tell you how much? But it goes in this like plastic folder. That didn't hurt. Might have looked like it. Plastic folder. Got my name on the back. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got my name on the back. That way they knew who they were handing it to. So that was that, guys. So let me lean up against the wall here. Feel a little bit more comfortable. So uh, I graduated today from college. I guess you'll be seeing this. I graduated yesterday from college with a bachelor's of science degree in biology, concentration in life sciences, which is basically just like the overarching thing. There's also health sciences, which is more towards like humans and there's animal sciences, 
but that's an agriculture degree and I'm, I'm not an agriculture student. So biology, life sciences, basically I have a total understanding of everything life. Chemistry minor in the honors program, graduated with honors, and I graduated cum laude, which means I had between a 3.5 and 3.74 GPA throughout college. I think that's the cutoff. I wasn't a super duper try hard, so I didn't go for that, you know, 4.0 or that 3.98 or whatever the junk. So, yeah, I didn't, I didn't graduate. What is it? It's, it's cum laude, summa cum laude, and magna cum laude. I think magna is the middle, and then summa cum laude is the top. Nonetheless, guys, I'm freaking smart, I guess, in terms of like graduating with a high GPA. So that's what I did, and I will be starting full time working on the 16th here as a medical assistant. So that's gonna be freaking awesome, guys. A real big boy job. And not only that, but I have consistent hours, which also means I can sit down and record stuff and actually put some time into editing. I know that back when I started college, I was doing a bunch of editing all the time with Black Ops 2, and I just, I haven't had that kind of time. But now, since I'll be working a consistent schedule, I get off work at 4.30 every day, and I also have weekends free, I will have time to sit down do some editing, do some playing, I'll be upgrading my computer, I can record more games, put more stuff up on YouTube. So that's a thing. By the way, I apologize if my room is a little bit of a mess from what you could see. I know that the bed is a little out of whack and there was like piles of stuff here next to me, but that's because I'm leaving for a week for North Carolina. I'm going to a lab that Duke University uh, runs or oversees or whatever the heck. So I'll be there for a week. Which means this YouTube thing is going to be very interesting. So I did take a little bit of a break with trying to figure out adult life, or trying to figure out adult life. Maybe I should use English now that I graduated from college. But I'll be in North Carolina for a week, so it's going to be interesting. I'm going to attempt, attempt to get something up every single day while I'm gone. Probably mostly are going to be vlogs because I'll be in North Carolina. I've been to South Carolina and the last time I was there I think it was like 11. Maybe even younger than that, maybe 9. Actually, I think it was 9. So, yeah. I'm going to attempt to get some vlogs every day to you guys. I've got plenty of stuff that I can talk about. So like, tomorrow I can talk about my future plans, like immediate future plans. And then I can talk about the trip and what I'm doing there on the trip and stuff like that. And I can talk about like... I don't know, a whole lot of other stuff. I'd talk about the presidential race if I wanted to. It's my channel, damn it. But no, on a real note, guys. Graduated from college. It took me three years instead of four years. Paid a little bit out of pocket, but it wasn't too hefty of a cost, I suppose. Be paying off a couple of loans here for the next couple of years, but other than that, guys, I'm done. I'm all graduated. So yeah, that's a thing. It's kind of a big change. There's like two people that still live in this building and they just went through that big metal door. So that's awkward. Um, yeah. I had a train of thought. Nonetheless, guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up for me today. We'll see what this immediate future holds. For sure. For sure. Just, just join me on the adventure. It'll be okay. We'll get through it for sure. So, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you. Yes, you. All. Next time which will probably be a vlog, so enjoy that. Yeah.